My name is Etienne from the Greek word Stephanos, a winner crowned after a bloody battle. I was born and grew up in the church of my parents while I participated in their voodoo activities. Through the reading of the Bible with the Christian friends, I made a turn to Christ and committed myself to Him. Then, the desire to enter the ministry burned inside of me. I was restless for years. I wrote to several Bible colleges in the USA, but the response was no. In 1969, I met an American missionary by the name of Melvin Spock in Haiti. Our conversation moved me from accepting a scholarship offered to me by Florida Memorial College in Miami to go to Ozark Christian College, then Ozark Bible College. That missionary was carrying a pamphlet that read, you will know the truth and the truth will make you free. After I read it, I told him, oh, I like that. He sent my plea to Mr. Seth Wilson, then dean of the college. I engaged myself to walk the road to Ozark Christian College. When I arrived, a consul by the name of Mr. Brown called my name Etienne Prophet. I responded here, no interview. I thought my request was rejected, but he said, pay $28 and bon voyage. I was shocked. I came to believe that God works in mysterious ways. Someone said, don't be afraid of tomorrow. God is already there. There I arrived at OCC in September 1969, not mastering enough English to study. I worked at jobs and bought a black and white TV set to watch people speak and a small transistor radio to listen. In January 1970, I was fully enrolled to carry the load as a foreign student under the famous professors of Ozark Christian College. I graduated in May 1974 and embraced the order of getting into the ministry at the charge of uh, the elders of my church to preach nothing but the truth. I engaged on the road to, to the, deliver the Christian message to the Haitian people. I proposed the following ministry to the board. Plant churches, do education, translate English books into French, do healthcare, and train young people to preach, etc. A humble beginning in a two-room rented house with prayer meeting, Bible study, literacy program, and lifestyle evangelism has exploded into a large ministry. Today, we are counting education from kindergarten through college level. Churches are producing preachers, professionals in many areas of expertise. A hospital attending to over 80,000 people, a peanut butter factory, a woodworking shop, and other development projects throughout Haiti. Edwins, our son, is now in charge as CEO. Betty, myself, and others stand by his side to advance the cause of the kingdom. Throughout this program, Haitian Christian Mission is now touching over 100,000 lives in Haiti. Big things often start with small beginnings. With the kingdom in mind, the best is yet to come. Seeing what's happening, I get all excited. I am Etienne, meaning the winner crown after a bloody battle. I am just one, but my life makes a difference.